Hello Geminis, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your February 2019 monthly reading. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this video guys. I love your feedback so don't forget to leave a comment. Um, don't forget to also check out the description box below on information on how to book a personal reading with me, information on the decks I use, on the crystals I use, and also my Instagram and social media and stuff. Alright, so without any further ado Geminis, let's get into your reading. Please excuse the glare from my glasses there's nothing I can do about it I'm gonna get some new glasses but like I need to give my contacts a rest but I do apologize about the glare in the video hopefully it's not too distracting all right so let's see what's going on Good nice February 2019 please. All right, Gemini. So we have the Knight of Cups. So emotion, emotion, right? Could be receiving a proposal of some sort, a proposal for a commitment, a proposal for uh, a friendship, an apology, just some message that has to deal with emotions all right so normally we tie that to love with the cups so it could be dealing with the pisces cancer or scorpio but i can also see you gemini opening up and having like expressive um moments all right sharing information sharing how you feel about someone sharing how you feel about something all right talking about your passion talking about things that you love it doesn't also always have to be a person but i can see you really like having that conversation about what is it that i like what is it that i enjoy okay but this is a really warm um and card to fly out okay but some of you guys could be receiving yeah some of you guys could be receiving some offers for a long-term partnership but let's see what comes up in the spread all right and one all right so the underlying energy we have is the Wheel of Fortune, Gemini. So big, big pimpin' is kind of what I just heard on um, that Jay-Z song. Big pimpin'. Anyways, but... <laughs> So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's an underlying energy of change, change in your favor, divine intervention, right? To kind of guide universe, guide spirit, guide energy in your favor, Gemini. And it's followed by death. So a transformation of some sort could be could have been dealing with a, a Scorpio, but there's been a transformation and metamorphosis. Perhaps you've learned those lessons that you were supposed to learn for this chapter in life, and now you're going to start seeing that good favor come towards you. So really exciting, beautiful underlying energy, um, Gemini. So let's see what let's see what else is up, okay? So we have, ooh, wow, the star card at the heart of the reading, followed by the five of wands as the foundation. Then we have the ten of pentacles as the current moment, the most likely outcome being the queen of pentacles, and then the card of advice we have is strength, all right, but because it, I accidentally grabbed it, we have the nine of cups. So dream big. You're strong enough to get what you want. Even though it feels like you're coming out of some friction or some instability. Um, you really found your feet and planted them firmly on the ground, Gemini. This is absolutely beautiful energy. A lot of earth, you know, energy and an air reading, which is pretty interesting. So it seems like some of you guys have finally you know found your feet um and with the star card being the heart of the reading this is a card of healing this is a card of responding to stimuli and, and internalizing it and making yourself better because of it you know also with, with with strength being here so there's been a period of healing and it could deal with emotions it could deal with um relationships it could deal with how you feel about your job how you feel about yourself all right but there's just a, a very calm warming energy going into february 2019 for you guys um especially coming out of conflict and finally getting you know firmly implanted perhaps you're even getting real results for plans that you put in you finally committed to something gemini instead of just you know floating away from it as air signs can tend to do you know you've actually been like you know i'm actually committing to this you've been planning and strategizing okay to have this overabundance but some of you guys could be receiving some really big news and big exciting news on a financial front or on like a family front some of you guys could easily be getting engaged all right particularly if the relationship was kind of rocky <laughs> i finally see it like um feathering out you know and some of you guys are really just going to be receiving a marriage proposal or you know talk about having children and starting a family with somebody of um, specific with this 
queen of pentacles energy i see you certainly adopting that especially after you hear this i think you guys understand what you want and some of you guys just want to be grounded I, I keep using that word but like some of you guys just want both of you just want to be set in reality for the time being like you just want something settled you want something sure you're not you don't want something fighting you don't want something to go off you know by the seam of its pants you're looking for something that's going to hold you down all right um so we have the queen of pinnacles so this is capricorn virgo virgo taurus energy right but it's just a really earthy sensual energy you guys are working in the material the physical perhaps you're building abundance it could easily deal with finances particularly if you've had a really bad financial strain it seems like it's going to start balancing out towards the end of this year and you're a stronger person because of it you will know how to spend your money wiser after you know not having any but it seems like you're going to have be receiving some big some big news perhaps it'll, perhaps if you've been looking for a home gemini um you'll find the perfect home um it's going to grant all your wishes and more you'll be very excited particularly this is something whatever this reading has to deal with you guys um pretty straightforward there was something that was had a lot of conflict all right with this five of wands it could have been an ego but it just there was a lot of back and forth it was very unstable um and it caused a lot of wrecks a, re a lot of restless nights and kind of sleepness sleeplessness all right people couldn't get along and it, it could have to deal with mis miscommunication oh my gosh my words that could have to deal with miscommunication um that really sparked that type of energy but whatever it is it's coming out of that conflict and it's really really finding its roots okay and it's starting to gl grow and flourish so if you've been feeling unstable about something understand that it's going to fare out it's healing right now that is in the past um and you're moving on as a stronger better more reasonable person more reasonable person because of it because of the super awesome wheel of fortune energy here okay so whatever the conflict was that you were going through gemini it's you know for the birds this is a really great february reading gemini like very very simple and straightforward to the point um if you're super nervous or worried about something or don't know how you're going to get from point a to point b just really surrender let go and let god and the universe is going to take care of it because there is going to be a level of practicality that comes in to some of your wishes and your dreams and you'll actually have um the resources the knowledge and kind of the um i'm hearing practicality but just kind of the wherewithal to get to get that what you want outside of communication you're going to do the physical labor some of you guys are going to get really down and dirty with your dreams to make sure that they happen you know which is kind of different for a gemini gemini's are more what much like go with the flow very much like a pisces like myself they're very much like you know we'll see what happens it's that mutable energy it's the mutable sign it's in it's out you know it's everywhere it's just kind of like ah whatever you know we get in where we fit in but it seems like there's there's no more yes that attitude is starting to pay off as in you're about to be rewarded for this but you're also about to be an active part in participating in your overall happiness if that makes sense okay Gemini so that's what I got for you so now we're going to pull some Oracle cards from the Moonology deck first guys Ooh, take it Oh, man. Oh, flew too. Hold on a second, Gemini. Oh, yeah. A personal issue. <laughs> a personal issue reaches resolution. That's exactly what I was saying. I'm happy that it made an appearance. All right. Um. Yeah. Whatever it is, the conflict it's ending. It's ending. Why? Oh, yay. And a win-win outcome is forecast. So that's what I'm saying. This is a really. I mean. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. I love that. And then look, luck is on your side at the bottom of your at the bottom of the deck. Luck is on your side and believe in the impossible. You know, so it, it's happening. It's really all manifesting for you, Gemini. This is great. <laughs> this is a really great reading. Especially if especially if something was on some bullshit, you know, it's now like it is what it is. and one more shuffle for Gemini oops all right <laughs> it shuffled for us all right so we have security 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 bam that is the definition of the Queen of Pentacles the Ten of Pentacles that groundedness that I kept preaching on a lot of you guys are just finding your feet uh, we have wisdom all right wisdom 
you're wiser because of it you're smarter because of it you know you're coming out of the situation on the winning end of it and so now you're going to really spread this wisdom and it's something that you can even internalize and you take with you as you move forward but you'll respond back to situations way different than you would have before it's kind of like uh, an old elder you know when one of your friends <laughs> comes to you talks about this you know in the future you're like i've been there i've understood that here's what you need to do just let go and let god it all works out in that divine timing okay so we have transmutation so this is taking you know shit and turning it to, into gold and that's exactly what's happening you took one substance substance and you changed it to gold and it's and it's shining bright i mean the will of fortune being the underlying energy you can't get any you can't get any clearer than that all right we have willpower liberation all right empathy all of these super po positive cards about sustaining sustaining your wish for what you want to do and you have the freedom to dream big okay so I like the American Eagle, all right, with that liberation, all right? There's freeing from this conflict. You're no longer going to be in this state. You're really going to be focused on self-care. Um, when I see the Queen of Pentacles, she is my queen of self-care, okay, guys? So she is the one who, she takes those long baths, all right? She makes sure that she's, her tummy's full, all right? She makes sure that she smells good. She makes sure that her surroundings, her home is clean, all right? Very much of that nature. I see you much, I see you very much stepping into that that um role Gemini so that's some really exciting stuff and so we're gonna pull one more card from the um, ethereal Oracle deck to get a nice bow tie on this reading I mean but a really straightforward really straightforward positive reading though I love this oh man I hate when they freaking fly all right All right, Gemini, one second. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, wet. <laughs> All right, so we have card 23. Sorry, Gemini, about that. We have 23 fly out. And then we have, so we have card 8. All right, so I'm going to see what that says. So eight. All right, we have beacon. The beacon draws us in regardless of all perceivable reasoning, beyond the thought, beyond the justifications of the ego, an undeniable energetic energetic magnetism. We are drawn to things, people, etc. For reasons we may never know, it simply represents the draw. Anything or anyone that is drawn to you or you are drawn to, there's a purpose behind it. Avoid attempting to assign or manufacture a purpose understand the connection and see what comes all right so spirit could be introducing new things to you to put you on this divine path you know pay very close attention to um spirit pay very close attention to signs with this wheel of fortune because it's going to point you in the right direction that you want to um go in so really awesome stuff to be just a tune of like what you're attracted to what music what songs are you listening to find those connections all right the people that you like you'll start noticing that they have things in common you know that you didn't expect okay and so next we have 23 which is rose all right and so the incredible ability to manifest or create life and joy in places which it would be excuse me which it would be otherwise devoid beauty bestowed from a source beyond the physical world limitations creating what was thought to is not possible all right remember that believe in the impossible um bringing love and joy into places which have little growth out of what would have otherwise appeared to lack all right so this is really rising above the occasion spreading positivity especially as you move with this um healing card that star card in the heart of this reading your energy could be bringing um peace to other people all right but it just seems like out of this conflict out of this very s unstable period there is positivity and growth that's coming out of it and who doesn't love positivity and growth you know it's like miracle grow gemini you guys are miracle grow gemini's you have evolved you learn you've taken shift yeah and that's exactly rose <laughs> rose as in the card so look at the the green like he's coming up utter it but that's exactly what's happening miracle grow so <laughs> gemini's thank you so much um, for tuning in i hope that this message resonated with you because it's such a positive reading um really great stuff happening for you guys 
guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, check out the description box below for those personal readings, alright? Peace, Geminis.